Hey, you guys, can you guys get me all in? Yes, girl, I'm serving you, uh, Krusty the Clown. <laughs> this is why I don't like to wear my puff like this. I don't like to wear a high puff because I think I, I look like Krusty the Clown. Anyway, y'all, we won't be doing our hair today, but we will be doing, I will be doing my nails. Um, can y'all see me? I feel like there's a glare. Hold on. I hear some background noise. It's, I'm on hold with my job because I got to figure out my email stopped working on my phone and I need that. That's vital for me. So, I'm gonna be changing the nail polish on my nails because first of all, I messed up my nails. Um, it's a pretty color, a plum color eggplant, but I messed up my nails while I was leaving. Y'all, the camera drop. Anyway, um, I messed up my nails, which is not good. So I'm here to repaint them and we are gonna chit chat. Now I bought this Beauty 360 Advanced Nail Polish Remover. I love this thing. You just put your finger in there, wiggle it around, and it'll take the nail polish straight off. So let me show you what colors I'm thinking of. Hell, I may do two of them. So I'll ratchet. I have this neutral nude. I don't know if it's nude. Um, this is old school Lilac Opal Station. Yeah, what do y'all know about that? I had to get this on eBay. Um, old school, they don't sell cotton candy anymore. This is what Tina said is boring, girl. Then I have this blue color, isn't that pretty? Then, girl, I have this hot pink. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do this blue. Uh, so let me go ahead and get the nail polish off. Yeah, y'all, so I need to talk to these people because I... Thanks, bye-bye. I need to have my damn work um, email on my phone because of the time difference between myself and my team. I mean, I'm on Mountain Standard Time, a lot of people on Eastern Time, um, so literally at five sometimes at five o'clock in the morning i have emails coming in i mean i ain't answering them but you know i need to have that ability to at least look at it and, and ignore your ass <laughs> so y'all if they call me back i just left a message for the help that's gonna have to answer so anyway y'all what's going on um this is going to be kind of a short um chit chat because it won't take me that long to paint my nails um, and see, that quick they come off. My nails are kind of long, but I didn't want him cutting them. So anyway, girl, I've been looking at some crazy YouTube videos. I've been looking at a lot more of lovely T.I. Um, those of you who follow her, she's a gossip gossip YouTuber. But her, her content has really come a long ways. Now, I am not looking at all the drama between her and who is that? The wine lady, is her name Tasha? And I guess Cardi B. I'm not looking. Yeah, I don't pay attention to that stuff. I don't. Um, if you do, more power to you. But I rather really look at someone detangle their hair than <laughs> look at all that madness. Anyway, y'all, lovely T. I did post a video a couple of days ago in regards to Beyonce's ex driver, sorry, ex driver, ex drama accusing her of witchcraft. I'm like, girl, what else is new? What's, what's the real tea? <laughs> We all know Beyonce. <laughs> Look, I shouldn't say that, especially since a quarter of my subscribers are from Houston or live in Houston. Um, but yeah, I mean, her ex drummer came up with this, of course, after she was fired um, or let go. I don't know. She, she no longer drums for her. She's no longer in Beyonce's band, I should say. But she was saying how Beyonce was doing all this crazy stuff. She has a video, uh, the, the drummer. I haven't seen all of it because she seems a little... You know what? I shouldn't be like that because I'm gonna say she seems a little touch. She may not be touched because that's the first thing we want to accuse someone of being when they come out with these accusations that they're crazy. Um, and that's something that we probably shouldn't be rushed to judge, you know, another person on. Um, but I had to kind of like give her the side eye. Well, besides the fact that she's accusing Beyonce of being a witch, Oh, she was basically saying how Beyonce killed her cat or Beyonce put a spell on her and caused her cat to die. Now, let, let me tell you this. I absolutely believe that people can 
um, put spells on you. Absolutely I do. Are you serious? I'm from the country. Yes. People can hex you. Hold on, y'all. People can do that. Um, and sometimes you can feel when someone has some weird energy going on with them. So do I believe that Beyonce or is a witch? No. However, I do believe they dabble. They dabble in witchcraft and the occult. I really do. So I think that once you become successful, then those powers to be are like, okay, you successful now. What are you gonna do for us? I really do feel that way. Now I don't, I don't know if everyone is like that, but we all know Holly Weird. That is, that's the game. Y'all, let me go wash my hands because you know how you get that chalky feel afterwards. Yeah, girl. Apparently, Beyonce is out here snatching up dogs and cats i'm like she got she got more things to be doing doesn't she like no she has to rehearse and get her lace fronts together i mean <laughs> anyway y'all so yeah um let me keep my phone on yes hold on let me do one coat this blue let me see y'all i don't know if i like this okay maybe i do girl so that's what was i gonna talk about okay so my love for british tv anyone else love british you you can't you can't comment if you're from the uk i mean you that doesn't count but any <laughs> i'm just kidding any of you really really into british tv i will say this they really know how to do crime tv crime drama right now i watched well, y'all know I was been watching How to Get Away with Murder, right? And I'm done with that. Oh, and that, now the next season is on. Yes, and I'm all for it. It's a little slow, but I'm okay. I'm okay with being slow. And so, y'all, don't y'all think Frank is fine? Frank is, uh, he's on the show, and he's one of the few men who looks good with and without a beard. Y'all, when I saw him with... <laughs> on the episode where he actually shaved that beard i was screaming i'm like oh god please don't do it then i was like oh please do yes he looks good y'all and he is 52 oh yes and he looks good doesn't he look good yeah anyway girl stop blusting <laughs> so anyway um watching that excuse me of course and y'all know i told y'all i stopped watching um I stopped watching AHS, American Horror Story, and sure enough, apparently the coven holes are back. I don't know what you call <laughs> I shouldn't say that. Oh, you know what I'm talking about. The witches are back. I'm like, yeah, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it anyway. I told y'all I'm not doing it. Um, so then when it comes to uh, British TV, I'm now watching Broad Church, which is good. Now, at first, y'all, I'm a type of person, I mean, I can, I can, of course, get accents. I'm not, you know. However, when I started to watch the show Happy Valley, which is also um, over there, <laughs> uh, I couldn't get the accents. The accents, it was almost like they were mumbling their words. And so I didn't watch the first the first episode because I'm like, I don't know what the hell they're saying. So it took me a while and I'm like, okay, I get it. I get it. So, um, yeah, it ain't like, you know, keeping up with appearances. I can understand all of them, but Happy Valley, I had a hard time. And, but Broad Church is okay. Um, one of the main actors, I believe, is Scottish. So pretty, you know, straightforward accent in my opinion. But yes, I really am enjoying that show. Uh, yeah, I should probably look up a little bit, huh? So y'all can see me. Um... My job didn't even call me back. You know what? This is pretty. How do y'all like that? Yeah, that's pretty, girl. It looks a little ghetto, but it's pretty. Um. Oh, so when I was watching Broad Church, um, the first season, Wes from How to Get Away with Murder made a little cameo, and I was like, I didn't know Wes was English. I, I had to, um, I had to fast forward it a few times. I was like, I had no idea he's English. He has a really good American accent. Cause some people you can tell. I know when Iridis Alba was an, um, obsessed with, I've seen that movie like 500 times <laughs> with, excuse me, Beyonce, the Illuminati queen herself. Um, when they were arguing that scene where she thought he was cheating on her and they were arguing his accent came out full throttle y'all. There was something I really wanted to talk to y'all about. Girl, why? What's the point of having dogs if you keep them outside all the time? 
I mean, these people keep their dogs in the backyard all the time. I think they're puppies, though, and they're probably tearing their stuff up. You know, you, your ass would go to the pound in a minute. You already know I'm not a pet person. Um, I do. I barely do this fish. Oh, real quick. Um, did y'all see there's this picture of... <laughs> Okay, it's not funny. There's, you, this is why you can't believe everything you see on the internet, okay? So there's this picture floating around with Ken Whitaker and Forrest Whitaker. And they're like, who would have known that these are two different people? And I'm looking at it and turning my head, I'm like, uh, they're both Forrest Whitaker. Both pictures, he has that eye. You know, he got that little eye. Oh, well, you know, whatever, that lazy eye due to a medical condition. I'm not being funny. And I'm like, but do they both have the eye? I'm like, who the hell is Ken? I don't know Ken Whitaker. So I had a couple of friends sharing it, and apparently they're both actors, and they both look alike. Ken is, is, is he older? <clears throat> they're only two or three years apart. But, y'all, you cannot believe everything you see on the Internet because they're from my hometown. They're from Longview, right? And I actually am classmates with their cousins. And so I'm like, I never heard them talk about Ken. Who the hell is Ken? I never heard them mention Ken being an actor and all this. And sure enough, someone from Longview forwarded or shared the picture. And it's the same person. They got 5,000 cousins living in East Texas. And one of the cousins came on and said, no, Ken and Forrest you can tell they're brothers, but they don't look this much alike. I'm like, I know a lot of y'all are in this one group, the red table. And the red table is, I don't know, what do you what, what do you want to call it? Is it a podcast? What is it, y'all? It's a show with um, Jada Pickett, her mom, who is beautiful, and her daughter. And so they have guests on, and they talk about very important discussions. But there's also a Facebook group called The Red Table. So I'm in that group, and sometimes it can be a little ratchet. And then the white coat group, girl, when I tell you, when I want, when I want to feed my drama llama, I go in there. Now, every now and then, I'll give advice, you know, whatever. But most of the time, I'm lurking and reading and being like, oh, Lord, girl, bless your heart. So, someone posted yesterday. I'm, I'm not going to give all details. There's actually, let me tell you something, how ratchet this group is. There's actually been... <laughs> This is why you shouldn't share too much online. Do not overshare. Don't tell people all your business. There are a couple of women who have, at least one in particular I remember, who have shared that they cheated on their husband. Why did someone cut, go, they visited her, her profile, right? Contacted her husband and said, screenshotted everything she said and basically it was like, your wife is cheating on you. Here's a screenshot, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, oh my, oh sis, you bold as hell. Hold on, y'all. This is pretty fun. So yesterday, a woman shared, oh no, she basically posted as a question, and I didn't know if it was a rhetorical question, or we supposed to answer this, or we supposed to think about it. So she was basically like, what would you do if your husband said he was going out to the store, and then he disappeared for five years? I'm gonna wait a minute. So, <coughs> your husband told you he was running to the store to get some bananas and some Cool Whip because we know what he's about to do. And he never just came back. So, she goes up and said, what would you do if your husband left for the store and he never showed up? And five years later, he pops up. He tells you he misses you. He's sorry. He was immature at the time. He had some growing to do. And now you're a single with a small child. What would you do? What type? Again, am I supposed to answer this? Because I'm not doing a damn thing. If someone was that, could you imagine what that woman went through? And I didn't look at the comments because I was like, I'm not about to be sucked into this. I'm like, oh my gosh. So yeah, no, I mean, know your self-worth ladies. I mean, you will really entertain someone who did not care enough for your feelings and left you high and dry with no communication. You had no idea. And I think, are they legally still married? I mean, she said he went missing for five years. Girl, please, if my husband Alpha did that, I would have a party. <laughs> Y'all, I'm playing. Look, I ain't got, <laughs> I need to stop playing. I ain't got some nail polish on this. No, I'm just kidding, girl. I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, no, that would be a problem. And so there was also another lady 
and I don't know which group this was. I think this was the Red Table group, Lord. Single moms versus married moms. <clears throat> now, unfortunately, I've been in both situations, been a single mom, and of course now I'm married. Um, so there was a young lady that posted, basically she was, it was almost like a vent slash suggestion, I don't know what you would call it. Basically she was like, you know, being a single mom is hard. I've been doing this for a while, I have five kids. I mean, it was a long paragraph, but to summarize it, she basically said that two things that caught my eye. Basically mentioned that, you know, single parents should get extra days off or, yeah, like extra days off and single parents should also get paid more. Um, because, you know, at least when you're married, you have someone to help you. Let me tell you something. And I've told my husband this when, I, you know, when we got married and I let him know. <clears throat> then I told you I was single, a single parent, not for a long time, but enough to get a whiff of it. And Jamie was young. He just turned three years old, which is a very, girl, very challenging age. I think any age is challenging. Let's just be real. So I told my husband, I'm like, I'm 10 times more tired now here with you than I was single and with JB and I. When it was just JB and I, all I had to worry about was him and I, a small apartment. We did that little thing on the weekend and that's it. Just because you're married doesn't mean that your significant other is going to help you 100% on everything. Um, and I didn't respond to that. Now, let me just let me just say this. Um, I wouldn't trade it for anything. Absolutely, I love my husband and he does help me around the house. But how, well, what I'm saying is that in addition to managing the house, I'm managing the house bills and anything that has to do with the house. Um, you know, fixing his lunch and girl twerk sections and <laughs> twerk sessions i mean so it's a lot more excuse me it's a lot more work like one lady said her friend has to even ask her husband for money like that's how tight it is and he's basically and i know my my girlfriend has this problem too having a husband is almost like having an, another child so instead of having two kids you got three you know a, a big a big man child so and you know, I'm sorry, but I, I don't know what her background is, but you don't get rewarded for having babies. You don't. You don't get a, a prize for having babies. That is your responsibility. They didn't ask to come into this world. And I told you I was there by myself for a while. They didn't ask to come into this world. So you do everything that you can to provide for your child. Absolutely, there's gonna be some rough times. I can only imagine with five children, but me and married, I have that financial st stability, but girl, when we first got back together and I had to get into, cause this is new for me, y'all, being married, having a child, this is new. It is hard as hell. So don't assume that, I mean, basically you're trading one thing for the other, is, I, long story short, is what you're doing. So sometimes I see this narrative from both sides, actually. Um, from both married married moms and single moms. You just can't compare your struggles. But just know that everyone is struggling to a certain degree. You know what I mean? No one has it off, you know, worse than the other. So everyone is has their own issues. You know, like we don't know what that married couple is going through and what that woman is going through. Hell, she may want to be single with all the foolery that she may be going through. Same thing with a single parent. You don't know what they're going through. Single parent, you know, they may have a desire to have a partner to help them financially and to help them mentally because I will say that's two things. Mentally, I don't feel as drained. And of course, financially. Um, But girl, don't be betting on it. Don't be betting on that extra person to help you like they said they're going to do. Because, hey, it is what it is. So, all right, you guys. My nails are done. I like them. I'm going to have to clean up some a little bit. But isn't this cute? But these are cute, huh? Very, very, very pretty. And I'm, I'm happy about it. Good about this. I'm good about this. All right, y'all. <coughs> that is it for this chit-chat. Uh, and the thing about this color, these are the step one simple colors and they dry really, really fast. Like my nails are dry. My nails are dry, completely dry. So that is it y'all. Hopefully the next video, the next video will be a vlog because I'm not doing my hair this week. <laughs> now I will be doing my hair next week. So look forward to or look out, watch out for um, a couple of hair mask videos and I'm gonna redo that flexi rod and yes, your girl will be sleeping on them. I'm gonna redo that flexi rod with the Lottie Body Collection. So that is it everyone. Thank you so much for watching and thank you as always to all of my new subscribers. Take care, bye.